as you can see, I replaced the one of the battery holders with a three snap wire. And when I turn on the slide switch with the switcher set to the S6 position, the ball wiggles, but the airflow is not as great even when I move it on the setting closer to me. You can see that it barely levitates above the funnel because there is only half the amount of power for the air fountain as there was in the previous project. I'm going to move the circuit around or actually I'm going to tap on the vibration switch and watch the bicolor LED. It flickers. That's because there is a spring on one side of the vibration switch inside this component and then on the other side there is a contact next to the spring. When the switch is, is shaken, the spring will bounce to open or close the circuit. This could be a possible earthquake detector. For project 12, vibration alarm, I'm going to turn on the slide switch. Nothing happens. Now please turn down your volume because this may be loud. But I am going to tap the vibration switch and an alarm sound. This time, instead of turning on a, an LED, when the vibration switch is triggered, an alarm sounds. And this could be a good example of an earthquake detector that may go off if there is a very severe tremor or shaking. It has to be strong enough to make the switch vibrate to trigger the vibration switch to sound the alarm. And it would not be a good real life detector, but this could serve as an example of one and how it might work. I'm going to turn on the slide switch and the color LED lights up right now, but I'm going to tilt the circuit first away from me and you can see that the color LED is flickering. Now I'm going to tilt it to the right and the color LED turns off while the bicolor LED comes on as the color red. When I tilt the circuit the other way, however, the bicolor LED turns back off while the color LED comes back on. Finally, when I tilt the circuit toward me, both LEDs flicker and there is a small ball inside the tilt switch that is controlling which LED comes on. The ball inside the tilt switch will activate contacts when it rolls to either side due to tilt or motion. And it's interesting to see which LEDs come on or turn off when you tilt the circuit in a particular direction. And if the circuit does not turn off when left alone on a flat surface, then tilt it slightly so it turns off or just turn off the slide switch. But you might have heard of this component if you watched my projects for the mini kit snap circuits motion detector because the tilt switch is included in it. I'm going to mount this circuit on the blue stand that is included in this set. Make sure it's fairly stable. It's not perfect, but it should stay up. And I'm going to turn on the slide switch, volume warning. And now when the circuit detects motion, a siren will sound and the two LEDs will come on. It might be a little bit tricky to activate it, but there it goes. And as long as motion is detected, an alarm will sound and the LEDs will come on. Now this type of motion detector re relies on infrared radiation to activate. Infrared ra radiation is generated by people and animals and 
when a person or animal walks by the motion detector and it picks up their infrared heat, it will activate. And most real life security systems and motion activated alarms detect body heat as well. And sound if there is possibly an intruder or a trespasser in the area. I'm going to turn on the slide switch and the light motor spins. Both the color and bicolor LEDs come on and flash and you hear what might sound like a machine gun sound from the speaker. The alarm integrated circuit is controlling most of the activity. The sounds, the flashing of the LEDs and the rotation of the light motor. And check this out. Mr. Schnappy says that this project is one of his favorite circuits. For best effects, view this circuit in a dark room. I replaced the color LED with a solid three snap wire and when I turn on the slide switch, you hear a louder alarm and the light motor seems to move in faster bursts and the LEDs do not flash as much. I'm going to place this circuit on the blue mounting stand and then I'm going to turn on the slide switch. Now whenever the circuit detects motion the color LED will come on. It's ideal to put the circuit on a table and have it face a room so that when a person walks by they will likely set off the system with their infrared heat, their body heat. I'm going to turn on the slide switch and place the circuit on the blue stand and once again you should have it face across the room but I'm just going to have it face me for demonstration purposes and this time when your body heat activates the motion detector and the color LED comes on it will not be as bright because even though I have both battery holders the MPN transistor which amplifies the current is not included in the circuit. However, the benefit of a circuit like this is that the batteries will last longer since less energy is being drawn from them. Now, I'm not going to mount the circuit on the blue stand, but I will show you different variants of alarms for this project. I'm going to turn on the slide switch and first it will sound like a police car siren whenever it detects motion. But then for variant A, I can add a connection between points B and C here. And now the circuit sounds like a machine gun. Then when I add a connection between A and B, the circuit will sound like a fire engine siren. It may not sound continuously, but it, that's what the effect is for variant B. And then for variant C, I'm going to move the two snap wire so that it sounds like a European siren. You'll likely hear this type of siren on emergency vehicles in Europe.